The launch this week has been as successful as we'd hoped for. Uh, we've managed to identify um, some key partners in the region. We've had obviously the political buy-in from ASEAN and also from the European Union with some um, senior representatives there being um, re-educated around uh, the ambition. So what does success look like at the moment? Um, importantly in the first year we've got a series of uh, operational programs that are going to be rolling out across the region. But importantly over these, these two days we've been able to consolidate some of the thinking around the research piece that we're going to do on the uh, community um, visa waiver program or a, a model that uh, may simulate uh, some of the benefits that we can see in the, the Schengen model. We've started the journey now over the next two to three years uh, with our partners um, but it's all about delivery for us for Interpol, that's what we excel at. Um, both in the, the operational context, but more importantly, cementing some of the partnerships in the region, bringing together a variety of um, policing capabilities and border security entities so that they can start developing a common understanding of what they actually want out of the, out of the uh, development work that we're doing and how that will play into the ASEAN master plan.